presumably, we, we talk about this so often here on BBC Breakfast, don't we, about school uniforms. You know, a badge could make the difference. You don't necessarily have, you know, you could sew those on. Would that, you know, are there simpler ways around it, do you think? The set you give to them is £20 that you could otherwise have used elsewhere, is it, to help that support that child? Yeah, it is, but actually it's primary school. Are you uh, watching BBC Breakfast still to come on the programme today? I, I, so you, I thought you were doing a shimmy. No, and just I was not, I believe me. Time. I don't shimmy. <laughs> Uh, we said that, it, that the vigil was on, on next Sunday. Actually, it's not. It's tonight. on tonight, the second episode. Yeah. So there you go. The correction for you. 8.32. Uh, summer 2021 has been a bumpy year for UK holidays, as we've been discussing on the programme this morning. Many of us, including us, opting not to go abroad because of the uncertainty around COVID travel restrictions, although probably like you, I'm in this country most summers, to be honest. Um, some councils have reported record-breaking numbers of visitors and resorts like Bournemouth say hotel occupancy has been at almost 100% this summer. Gita Pense is on North Shore. Let's catch up on the sport, shall we? It's been another successful morning. The second series of Back to Life is on BBC One tomorrow, 10.35, and the full season, does it drop all in one, one it hit? It does, yeah. yeah. Or take it a week at a time. It's lovely to see you. Thank lovely you very much. Um, it's just, what is it, 8.56. Carol is having a look at the weather this morning. From what it looks like, there might be a bit of nice weather around. Morning. Uh, it's seven minutes past nine, so the withdrawal of US and UK troops from Afghanistan serves as a reminder that it is almost 20 years since the terror attack on the World Trade Center in New York that took almost 3,000 lives. Well, tonight in a BBC Two documentary, we'll hear from 13 ordinary people caught up in the attack and from the families of whose loved ones didn't come home. It's from Afghanistan serves as a reminder that it is almost 20 years since the terror attack on the World Trade Center in New York that took almost 3,000 lives. Well, tonight... Deeply um, emotional film. We're joined now by the film's director, Arthur Carey. The stories you tell in here yeah. are so moving. Um, how did you persuade Vanessa, for example, to take part in it and all these amazing people who have opened up to you in a, in a, in a really wonderful way, actually? Yeah. Well, I... well done. OK, <laughs> excellent. Um, you're watching Breakfast. Turn now to our main story. And the government's a pledge to support British citizens 